Before we start placing trades, we need to correctly identify the market structure. Of course, we as traders, we don't want to dwell too much on the past price action because the most recent price action is always the most important one. But what was happening in the past can and will to some extent influence what can happen in the future because price action leaves clues, leaves footprints and what the structure has done in the past can select points in the market or spots in the market where price will eventually react to. And when we are looking at the structure like this, we can see that this is a clean and healthy trading range. Price is swinging up and down, up and down without any present imbalance, bullish or bearish. And we're going to follow two things in a small trading range like this. Number one, we're going to follow our short and trend lines. We're not going to be relying on bigger, wider patterns because if we want to navigate the trading range correctly, we want to follow the trend line rule as precisely as we can and the shortened trend lines are the way to go. The trend line rule says after price will break the trend line, traders will expect to create new extreme. And number two, we're going to identify our key levels. Now, when identifying the key levels, we have to select the proper point where are we going to mark the key levels. We can mark the key levels at the very high of the entire day like this. And this is not necessarily wrong, but this is not really that helpful. We can see that there's a lot of empty space and I don't really get that many touches as I would like. Instead, if I just put it a little bit lower and I select area like this, I can see that I get much more confirmation and it really makes the trading range looks better. Of course, I cannot put it way too down. So it's about finding the perfect balance between making the trading range too tight or making the trading range too wide. So you're going to select a reasonable spot that's going to have enough touches, but it's not too far up or too far down. Same thing at the bottom. I can select key level at the opening of today's session at this point on right here, but you guys can see I get almost no touches. So it is better for me so I can clearly see the structure, how price is reacting to pull it a little bit higher like this. So I get multiple confirmation right here, right here, right here. And this is a now a good trading range and I have a good idea what kind of structure I'm looking at. We see that there's a downtrend working lower. There is a break price attempted to create a new extreme but failed to do so and price consolidated. Now when we are looking at the structure like this, we are solely sticking to the very tight trend lines and we are going to be looking for a high of the setups. However, this is a very sideways movement, choppy movement and this is no clear indication of any bias whatsoever. So right off the get go we can see the EMA is getting flat, it's getting in the middle of these bars and this is a no trade zone and it is better to wait until price breaks in either direction so you can correctly identify the direction where price is heading. Now, since this is a trading range, we know that the most breakouts most likely are not going to be successful and are going to fail. That's how trading ranges work. You can see there is a breakout to the upside. It felt it pulled back and there's a breakout to the downside. So as we're looking at the structure like this, you guys can see that we have a break of the major downtrend and we have a first lag to a new extreme. You're just going to copy the major lag and we have a second lag to a new extreme and we exceeded the measured lag. So right now we have a two-legged pullback, two-legged move down to a new extreme, which tells us that we have a new low and we expect for price to correct or straight up reverse. But since we are below the key level, we are most likely going to reverse because most breakouts will fail. So this is the first high probability setup for the day. Big bullish bar, you're decently far away from EMA and with two legs down, you can expect for this breakout to pull back at least to the breakout area previously. Now, after failed breakout, you would expect for price to at least pull back into trading range, but it didn't happen. Failed breakouts a lot of times generate strong momentum, but in this instance, it resulted into a quick easy scalp, but price continued pushing lower. So this is already something a little bit different here because the bullish momentum is not as strong as you would initially think. And we keep creating a few additional pushes to the downside. So this was the point where it started to be a little bit confusing because the, the failed breakout was supposed to push price above EMA. And we already had two legs down, so this is a third leg and another leg. So it's starting to look like there is a little bit of a bearish downtrend potentially forming. But the bigger pattern is still trading range and you don't want to start drawing the bigger channels. So you're just sitting on your hands patiently. You guys can see that the price is eventually pushing higher and it's pushing higher. And we're finally heading back into trading range. So the perfect trading range rules applied. Now, as the price is working higher, I'm going to draw the shortened trend lines because I want to stay on the right side of the market. We have a break of a trend line and we have a new lower form and we have a first entry short strong push above EMA confirming bullish momentum and we have a second entry short failure. So this would be a reversal pattern because the downtrend played out and a new trend is started. Is this a safe trap to take? 
Well, it's not because take a look how price is far away from the exponential moving average. This is a little nuance that will a lot of times save you a lot of losing trades. Also notice there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars stacked. And if you go long right here, you're going long directly into the highs of this small little sideways movement. So you have no room to the highs and you're far away from EMA. For that reason, this is not a safe reversal pattern to take. And you guys can see what would have happened. Price would have gone lower, stopped you out and then continue pushing higher. As the price is continuing working sideways and like this and working sideways, this is a indecision. We have a 15 bars without any clear direction and we have a new high form right here. We have a first entry long, pullback, second entry long. Second entry long with the right context at the right key entry point is a high probability setup. But is this right context? Does this make sense? Even though this is a second entry long and it's at the key entry point and multiple key entry points because this, the support is now holding, we cannot go along here as a high probability setup because this is an area of indecision in the market and there is no clean entry. So unfortunately, you cannot go along here and you guys can see once again, just because it is a second entry long, you have to assess the entire structure and you have a clear congestion and you cannot take entry and price trap a lot of traders. When I'm watching this and I'm seeing how strong of a bearish momentum this was and I'm seeing how lackluster the move above EMA was because we are really not pushing higher. You would expect really a stronger bullish momentum to continue working higher. But instead we push back above EMA. Most breakouts of trading engines will fail and this is a small little congestion. And we broke lower and price eventually pushed higher and created a fell breakout out of this tiny congestion. But notice we have a break and a new, new form. So that tells you that the uptrend is no longer in play. So if I'm fading the breakout out of congestion, I want the uptrend to still be in anticipation of a new extreme to be formed. So as the price is right now going sideways, we are clearly in a sideways movement without any clear direction. There is just 25 bars just stacked completely without any clear direction. And unfortunately, price is not offering any setup and price is just working higher and higher. So we're finally coming from the lows of the fell breakout and we're pushing back up as the price is working higher. There is a bigger channel that is going to be drawn like this. First to swing set up the trend line, third swing confirmed it and the price is slowly working higher. Price created a new extreme right here. This is the highest point of this entire move up and price created the first entry long, pull back second entry long. This second entry long is far away from EMA and it triggered a horrible bearish bar. Since I'm in an uptrend, I want to buy. And if I'm buying, I want to buy above bar like this. I want to see a strong bullish momentum. I cannot buy above this bar in the opposite direction. This is not a trap entry. This is a regular two legged pullback, which would be a high probability setup, but it's not at the key entry point and the signal bar is bad. So there is no high probability setup here. Price eventually created scalp, but that's okay. You have a set of rules that you follow that you don't cherry pick and we cannot take any entry as a high probability setup. So, so far there has been only one great entry and this one is even a little bit aggressive. It requires a little bit more of experience. So that comes with a territory of being a trader. Not every day you're going to start out with easy setups. So you have to just sit here on your hands and wait for decent setups to appear. Price is pushing lower, created the first break of the uptrend and is eventually pushing above EMA. So this entire time price keeps pu pushing back above the EMA which is good for the buyers. It shows there is a lot of bullish momentum in the market. Price created a lower low of this correction because this low right here is lower than this row. So I would be looking for resetting the count here but since this low right here is now lower we reset the count here and we have a first entry short pull back second entry short. This was extremely tempting trade. I didn't take this trade myself because I just didn't like the signal bar and I didn't like how close to the resistance we were. But this was a really tempting trade. Fell second entry short. You know a lot of shorts probably got trapped going short on a second entry above EMA. This was a quick easy scalp. You really have to be careful going long into these highs. I didn't really like it. And then price created a new high first entry long, a second entry long. And personally I skipped it for the same reason and I shouldn't have. Because the overall structure is bullish and the EMA still keeps holding price. And right here, you're even lower than here. You got more room to this high than you had right here. So this is a decent entry as well because the key entry point is still holding price and the uptrend needs new extreme. But if I take a look at the structure, we have a little bit of a sideways movement and we have a small little resistance. So it's really hard to be going along directly into resistance like this, but price eventually pushed higher. So this is a felt second entry short and a second entry long. So these are high probability setups. 
you just have to be willing to risk it and go through this resistance and at the beginning of the video we talked about how the past can influence the future and this is what i have in mind we can see that the structure at the beginning of the day was a clear trading range and we can see that we have a key level at the bottom we have a support and we have a key level at the top we have a resistance what was happening in the past can and it will have an effect what can happen in the future since this is a trading range and this is an important key level this is an important area in the market after we have a break of this uptrend and a new extreme form and the bigger pattern for the day is trading range we no longer look for price to create new extreme of course we don't know what's going to happen price can keep pushing higher that can most likely happen but since this is the bigger pattern as a trading range we expect for price to eventually keep pushing lower you guys can see there was additional push up but you're right at this resistance you cannot go along here you have to respect the price action rules and you have to treat it as you're most likely going to get break back into this trading range and we'll take a look what happened price eventually ended up pushing strongly below ema confirming the bearish momentum so this is why you have to correctly identify the structure for the day at the very beginning of the day draw these lines on the chart so you can clearly see when the price will most likely turn you can see how reliable the price action is you can identify the key level at the very beginning of the day and five hours later you can get an area on the chart where you expect for price to react and it reacts perfectly as the price is strongly pushing below ema the momentum is changing okay since we have a break in new extreme and we want to start looking for sales how do we safely identify that it's safe to sell the safest trend reversal pattern is a reversal pattern which is identified by two felt attempts in the previous trend's direction previous trend was bullish so two felt attempts are second entry long new high form right here first entry long pull back second entry long and it failed so this is a sign that the reversal pattern is taking place the trend is changing the new trend the bearish trend is started and this is a high probability setup to sell but take a look on my chart what kind of horrible doji i have I have a neutral doji bar and it's not even close to be at the exponential moving average i was really really about to enter this trade right here but since we weren't really close to the ema i hesitated you guys can see what a big trade i missed this would have been a gigantic runner this would have been a trade for the day if you catch a trade like this you can write it all the way down and have a multiple multiple points just on your runner so this is a great reversal pattern however i want to see a little bit of a bearish bar and I want to see a little bit closer to the EMA because you can break the rule. You can go long here on a felt second entry short. And just because it's not at the EMA, you can get burned. So I don't really like cherry picking like that. But in this instance, the, everything else was put in place. And the overall bigger trading range, the reverse the pattern, the trend line was still holding. Uh, it was decent. It was definitely one of the best setups today. Probably the best setup so far, high probability, even though we didn't really quite touch the EMA because nothing is perfect in price action and you're quite close so a great entry right here failed second entry long and as the price keeps pushing lower and keeps pushing lower once again you're expecting for price how it's going to react at the support and you can see that we are completely ignoring the support so when i see like this price completely ignoring the initial support i see the lowest point right here i'm going to adapt there's possible there's more momentum in the market than i anticipated i'm going to draw the support a little bit lower like this i'm going to expand the trading range a little bit because right now when the trading range started it was much smaller so it, it makes sense to put it here because the moves were smaller but by the time market opened we have a big move down gigantic move up and gigantic move down so the trading range is increasing on its size once we have a downtrend working lower you guys can see you need to keep identifying key entry points because they will keep you on the right side of the market so this is a clear bearish structure EMA is pointing down, we're making series of lower highs, lower lows. So we're looking for second entry shorts at the key entry point. As the market is pushing lower and pushing lower, we get no second entry short at the exponential moving average. We have a new low form right here. We have a first attempt to sell, pull back, second attempt to sell. We have a second entry short. Is this a good entry to sell? We have a first break of this downtrend, so we expect for price to create new extreme. So context is good we are at the key entry points so this is good it is a second entry short so this is good but the short term uptrend is in play you have to respect the corrections and in this instance 
you can't even doubt that this uptrend is in play. The price is nicely fitting inside of this channel. So the only way to enter this trade is if you break below, create the pullback and you get a lower high confirmation of this second entry. This is what a lower high pattern is formed. If it's too aggressive to take second entry, you wait for lower high. You cannot go short right here. And you guys can see it would have ended up being a trap. So another example when you just cannot blindly uh, throw darts at the chart and take any second entry you see you have to think about this a little bit how the correction is uh, being present if it's play if it's over or not and in this instance the short term trend line is completely being in play once i saw this big bearish bar i was about to enter i already prepared my limit order because this is now a double trap everybody who went short too early and long too early they can get trapped so I was preparing my limit order if we get a trigger below this bearish bar as a double trap because we now broke this trend line and we are below EMA and I expect for price to create new extreme. However, there was never a trigger and price ended up creating a new extreme. So there's a two-legged pullback, first leg, pullback, second leg. And now you know that it is safe to be looking for you to sell. Correction played out, it's no longer in play and price is eventually pushing lower. And pushing lower i don't see any decent entry you have a new high push below ema and then you have a strong bullish move up off this key level you get a lower high here but by this time take a look how ema is completely flat and you cannot sell after such a big bullish bar this shows that this key level low of the day is holding price and this is a strong bullish momentum so it is not safe to sell and by the time you get a first entry long second entry long failure you're in a complete sideways movement None of these bars are great to sell. You have to sit on your hands. But you guys can see, this was a strong bearish downtrend. And according to price action rules, you're most likely going to get new extremes. So you never want to start picking a bottom at this point. You need to let price to create new low. And price created the break and the new low was formed. But we can see that the price keeps pushing lower. Another leg down. Another leg down. And another leg down. So we constantly keep pushing lower and lower. So this is already a first sign that there may be a slightly larger pattern in play. But we're going to see what can happen right here. We can see that the price is working sideways, is working sideways. Now when we are watching this, the bias is strictly bearish. Even though you have a break and new low, that we have we just made too many pushes to a new extreme. So we're just going sideways and there is a bearish bias. We're still not thinking about buying because there is no push above EMA that would confirm a bullish momentum. We can see, whoops. We can see that there is a, from these first two swings, there's a downtrend working lower. But this downtrend has not been confirmed right yet. But we are approaching this downtrend right here. You guys can see we have a first confirmation of this downtrend. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my shortened trend line just like I did here. I see that this is a trading range structure. We are at the two key entry points, EMA and the trend line. And key entry point is a place where high probability setup will appear. So right now, we are about to form high probability setup, but this is not high probability setup yet, it's just a first entry. And the uptrend is still in play. We have a break lower, bullish bar, and we get a big bearish bar reversal. New low form right here, first entry short, pullback, second entry short. Three key entry points are holding. Trend line, exponential moving average, the resistance of a small consolidation. This is a strong downtrend. And this is a high probability setup because the context is bearish. This is the second entry short. This is my first trade for the day after waiting here for so many hours. This is a clean two-legged pullback. Structure is bearish. And you guys can see how the key entry points are generating the strong momentum. And that's the simple price action. You just have to be willing to sit here through this mess where the setups are really not clean, even though the setup was very good. But you just have to be willing to resist to urge to jump the gun, take impulsive trades, Take trades that are not really there. You're not really sure where you're reading it properly. The market will reward you if you keep waiting for the good setups where you feel comfortable. This is a great setup and market continue pushing lower and pushing lower. You guys can see the bars are getting smaller and we keep pushing lower. You guys can see how this trend is really strong. EMA keeps rejecting price. So the bias is still bearish. Price credit new low. And we have only first entry short. And this is not a high probability setup just yet. So you're just sitting on your hands waiting. And we have a first break for this downtrend. So you're expecting for price to create what? New extreme. You're going to draw the short term corrections just like you did all this time because you never want to get trapped on the wrong side of the market. There is a break. 
new extreme form, but you don't want to pick a top just yet. You never know where you're going to make additional one tick higher to stop you out and then reverse down. You just don't know. We don't have a crystal ball. We cannot know whether this is the safest place to sell just yet. It was better to do is to wait for price to push below EMA and to give you a lower high. And price is slowly pushing lower, slowly pushing lower, and you get a lower high here. But this lower high pushed above EMA. When I was watching this, I even had additional trend line like this. This was the additional trend line because this downtrend looked way too steep and sometimes the trend will eventually flatten. So I was looking at the channel that was potentially flatter. So this would confirm my channel, but this lower high now closed above EMA after a series of few of a bullish bar. So I didn't really like going short just yet. When I'm going short, I want to see price to push below EMA and stay below EMA. So here's a lower high setup, slightly aggressive, it worked, but take a look what happened. We have a new high, first entry long, pull back, second entry long, new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. There was a big bullish bar that ticked one tick above this bearish bar. And it ticked above and it instantly reversed down in a split second. This indicated that at the very end of the bar, everybody started selling. The bar looked big like this, full on bullish bar. And at the end of the bar, once the bar was closing, everybody started selling. This is indicating strong momentum. And when I see strong momentum like this, at the right spot in the market, which is at the key entry points, not only at the EMA, a potential trend line, and also it is the first break of the major downtrend that was working lower, that was proven, and I expect new extreme. So everything is screaming still that I expect for price to create a new extreme for the downtrend this was a quick easy scalp market eventually created a new low and now we expect correction or straight up reversal and price is right now consolidating there's really no clean setup just yet and it's getting already way too late because price is about to close all right hope you guys had a good trading day so take care everybody i'm gonna see you in the next one